Camera rolling. Action. Splash, splash, splash. On today's episode of BAT Splash, I'll be telling you my most embarrassing moments in the United Kingdom. Since I've been in the UK, these moments are like, oh my god really embarrassing so i'll be telling you and i'll be sharing with you my top most embarrassed i have lots of embarrassing moments by the way but my top most embarrassing moments in the uk do not go anywhere so there's this um embarrassing moment i was with my fiance at that time and we were going from london to excess when we got to tilbury station in excess we are meant to get another ticket to go to you know where we're going to a bus ticket because apparently you can't use your oyster card out of london and you can't use your bank card the contactless one when you're out of london as well you just have to buy the paper ticket so when we wanted to buy this ticket there was a ticket guy there and it was like oh where are you going well, then we told him then he did the ticket and then we paid for it so when I now saw that we paid for it, I was like, ah, babe, we're meant to pay twelve pound. Why did we? Why did we pay eight pound? On checking the ticket, this guy printed, I am not even joking, one adult and one child. And I looked at him, and I looked at myself again, and I looked at my fiance, and I was like, why are you looking at me? And then I showed him, like, look at your ticket, adults. Look at mine. It says child. And we just started laughing, but because anyway, what's my own? I shall get to pay less. <laughs> I just look at the guy, I was like, oh, there's really nothing to say to you because I don't want to pay more. So I just left, but it was so embarrassing and so funny at the same time because I'm looking at my fiance and I'm like, wow, you are with a minor. That's what they're trying to tell you because what the hell was that? Do I still look like a child? But anyways, it's, it's all cruise and it's all fun. If you think I'm a child, oh well and good, as long as it's favoring me. I do not care. Okay, so moving so on. The second most embarrassing moment for me in the UK was the day my uncle sent me out to get energy drink. You know, we're out, we're at a mall and was like, oh, that's us that over there. Just get me energy drink, get me... Was it bull? I think it was bull, the red one or blue one, I can't even remember. Then I said, oh, okay, cool. Then I went to Asda, I used the self-help machine, scanned um, the bull after I picked it from the shelf, then I wanted to pay for it. And then the machine sort of like raised an alarm and stopped me like seek assistance from one of the attendants or something. So of course, I called one of the attendants, like, excuse me, I want to pay for this. And then to my shock, the guy said, oh, can I see your ID, please? I said, see my ID, for what? If I may ask, said, um, the products you're buying, you have to be over 18 before you can get it. And I'm like, I'm over 18, you know? And he was like, no, you have to see my ID. I don't look like someone who is like, so sorry, but you have to see my ID. And I'm like, wow. Okay, then I showed him a copy of my ID because my id on my phone and like sorry i see the ad copy and i'm like are you for real so if i want to buy boo now i'll have to be carrying my passport about just to show you that i want to get boo it's not even a alcoholic it's just a flipping energy drink and no matter the grammar where i blew that dish i was unable to get and it was so 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 i felt so embarrassed like anyway and the same thing has been occurring like three times now i feel like my stature is something that I really really like and I'm proud to be slim and all but then sometimes it gets me really upset the other day I went to a corner shop to get blade and I couldn't get it and he was asking me for an idea so and I'm like it's blade I'm getting I said yeah you have to be 18 and above stop telling me I have to be 18 and above I'm not even a teenager anymore if that makes sense like do I really look like a teenager I don't think so so why are you telling me that I can't get it and then that one as well i couldn't get it okay guys yes, so the second most embarrassing moment for me in the uk was when i was like at london bridge if you know london bridge station very well you know that that station is one of the most complicated train station ever especially in london like it's so complicated it is only at london bridge where you have to tap in tap out tap in tap out different they just it's just like a very complex kind of train station yeah i was going to catford bridge i think yes catford was where i was going to and then when i went to you know follow the sign and then the sign was like saying that um next train to catford is at platform seven i just saw then i went upstairs to locate the platform seven immediately i saw platform seven i saw the train about to close like there was a train at platform seven but it was really almost you know that sound they made dun, 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 like closing so i ran inside and i just 
enter that train. I was like, ah, thank God, oh, I've made it. Because I was not ready to wait for the next one. So we now moved, got to Catford Bridge, and then the train did not stop. And I'm like, wait, I'm going to, why is the train not stopping? So I asked the person beside me, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, this is a direct train to Seven Oaks. I'm like, what? But it says next train is at platform seven and i'm very sure i entered this train at platform seven. so yeah 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 that is the next one after this one but this is going straight to it's passing through catford bridge but it's going straight to seven oaks i'm like what and i'm like oh okay sorry so how long will it take to get to where we're going to or something like that and he said um it's about 35 minutes <gasps> what i would be on this wrong train for 35 minutes I was so angry, like very, very upset with myself, upset with the fact that I was trying to rush to make it and eventually my journey would be delayed for almost, that day was delayed for almost one hour because when I got to seven minutes, then I had to like cross back um, to use the other platform to go back to where I'm coming from only for the next train to be coming in like 30 minutes. I was there in cold waiting, I'm like, God god this is why i don't like why did this happen to me when i was in a hurry to meet up with something really 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 important at that time but anyway i was so embarrassed that ordinary transport i couldn't figure my way out but that is you know one of those things moments for me was when i was working at primark you know this day i was just i was just tired like i was just tired i was just 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 tired then this particular girl very small girl just walk you know walk by and then she just splashed all our you know items on the table and i, I wasn't even looking at her because i wasn't really bothered my mind was just somewhere else thinking about something else and all of that so i was serving her then i finished i didn't even say anything to her and she left then she just went to report me to my supervisor that i refused to say hello or greet and i was just looking at her and i'm like even your bad people your bad culture they say you know something like, like if you don't greet me first if you're the one seeing me first why would i greet you first you were meant to say hello to me first but you did not but you're expecting me to say hello. and that's not even the point the point is that like who are you that have to greet you first that it was when my supervisor just said, oh, that lady that just said, I was like, oh, how I wish this was like Nigeria or something. The way I run after and say, Shay, are you okay? Like, what's your problem? Am I your maid? That kind of thing. <laughs> but anyway, that was also really embarrassing. The most embarrassing moment when I got to the UK was when mixing my bus stops and trying to get a bus. This took me a while to understand. Like, I'm always missing my stop either i'm pressing phone or something I, it still happens to me once in a while then before i know i'll look up and i'm like i missed my bus stop so i have to rush back again it's always so embarrassing when you cannot even just find your simple way and then when i also got to when i got into the uk as well you know uk buses here yeah? for example there is, they have bus numbers so we have one two three to this place one two three to that place so if and they also have designated like bus stop so there was this that i just saw one two three let's say i was going to my house and i just saw one two three to this place because i'm when i was going i entered one two three so when i was coming out i just said okay let me enter one two three or something like that but apparently that bus number would not pass through my area i don't know how best to explain this thing because i took that one two three from a wrong bus stop for example, one two three will stop at bus A. Then one two three again will stop at bus B, and another one two three will stop at bus C. So instead of me to like cross over to enter the one at bus C, because that is the one that will actually pass my designated route and where I want to stop, I just saw one one two three coming to like bus A, and I just ran into it, not knowing that that one was never going to where I was going to. Like transport was one of the compli most complicated thing that i had to adjust to in the uk because i was just i was used to just staying at the bus stop obaniko 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 oshodi 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 enter oshodi you know once you're entering oshodi you can stop at anywhere nobody will add you you know all the bus stops but yeah you can't just stop anywhere even though they are passing through the front of where you want to stop they will not stop for you and if you enter the wrong bus where that particular bus will not stop at stop a but they will stop at stop um, bus b then your luck so you just have to like figure it out properly but missing my stuff was definitely one of the most embarrassing 
or reoccurring embarrassing moments of my stay in the united kingdom then the last one i already made a whole video about this so you can go to my youtube channel to check it out was when i was flying in the uk like i barely spent a month in the uk and i was already getting fined but i made a video about it if you're interested you can watch the old gist of how i got fined because it was a long story and how eventually i ended up not paying the fine at all because i had a valid reason for not paying that fine so you can watch it so that you know how you do with yourself whenever you get fine you just you don't have to panic this is the uk everybody has human rights you just have to prove your case anyways guys that will be end for this video these are my top most embarrassing moments in the uk and i hope to read your own embarrassing moments in the uk in the comment section don't forget to like share subscribe i remain your one and only baby girl stay blessed bye